Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio Workshop. As always, I'm here with Mad Zuri. Greetings. And we're covering a Red Circuit build by Lockdown. This was one that was actually submitted uh, many, many months ago, uh, near the beginning of the list when we started the season two of this, and uh, we just got overwhelmed with design, so overlooked it. But we're here now looking at it, and this thing is a beast. This is <laughs> massive. I know it's loud, but I'm gonna run in here for a second to show you the full scale of this and actually zoom out as well. Um, so this includes over 700 assemblers, almost 2K inserters, um, over 300 robo ports, and uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Production-wise, it does about 4,000 red circuits a minute, um, 4.1, 4.2. It kind of fluctuates a little bit, but about 4 or 4.1 thousand a minute. And uh, there are a few issues and a few modifications we did, which I'll let uh, Zuri cover. Sure. Well, one of the modifications we did was we put the our cheaty mode things in the middle here to minimize the bot count active. So we can give you an estimate on the logistic bots. It's about 1,000 bots total if you put all the supply and consumption in the very, very, very middle, which is, you can't really do. So right. this might take a lot more bots than this to operate in a normal factory. Um, we sped up, there wasn't speed beacons on this middle set of cables, but we, we hooked them up anyway. Yeah, um, we fell a little bit behind, so, like, some of the cable was behind, so we thought we needed to modify it. In the end, I think it was mathed out correctly to where you didn't, however, uh, we were discussing that it probably isn't a bad idea to overproduce the cables a bit anyway. Yeah, it's not something you want to starve out on, and bots have trouble moving cables around, which is a complaint we have, is bots moving cables. Yeah, it's um, it's not quite as bad, well, or maybe it is as bad as a uh, Dalton cable, probably not, um, but moving them with bots is still definitely not a really good thing, just because of the level of throughput you need for them. Yeah, uh, really massive bot-based red circuit builds. I don't think it's possible to direct insert all the cabling anyway. You're going to have to move some around. Mm-hmm. Uh, which brings to the next complaint is that the only thing with speed beacons in it are the cabling machines, and they're speed ones. And again, I think it's to get the perfect ratio out, which is kind of artistic, that the cabling machine is a crafting speed of 1, and everything else is 0. 0.5. There's a 14-15 ratio between the cabling and the green circuits and it's it's like exactly 8.4 or so um red circuit machines to green circuit machines and cabling machines so mm -hmm. it's all perfect ratios right it's uh yeah it's really well ratioed out for sure uh however like you said the fact that only these little parts are speed beaconed uh means uh the design has to be this big if you want this kind of production from it uh, if you were to do a standard like 8-8 beacon or even a 12 beacon um, where you beacon everything, you could probably bring this down to like a third of the size or so. Also, a modification we did is we added cabling to the logistic requests uh, for the inputs for the, the green circuits because of that inserter timing issue. You can't really control, you know, which direction the cable goes on some of these cabling machines. So it's a good idea to have the bots move some of them around. Yep, exactly. It was an issue of uneven feeding um, from the cable, which is, you know, that you can't control the inserter. So we made that modification. It helped quite a bit. And uh, that's mostly it. Like Zuri said, this is the most ideal situation with the bots. And in a real factory, you can't really do it this way with your, uh, you know, providers in the middle and requests in the middle necessarily. Um, they would probably be on the edges, which would quite significantly increase the amount of bots needed, I would imagine. Uh, possibly up to double, but yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, overall, I, I think it's a pretty decent build as far as ratios go and stuff like that. Um, definitely really well thought out, but the uh, massive bot network and moving cables by bots is, is a bit of a problem. Or moving all of the cables by bots. Yeah, all, all the cable. <laughs> the, the, uh, there's, well, 
the green circuits. Lose some. Yeah. The green circuits do have a little bit direct insertion through the chest, but due to the issue we mentioned, we, we kind of have to request it too. And, uh, and yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a massive circuit design, don't really care about bot lag or game performance, um, then definitely worth checking out. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, currently our update time is 6.5. I'm not sure what it will be when we turn this off, but this is definitely taking uh, a decent amount of game performance to run. Well, let's see. How do you just kill it? Yeah. All the bots are just like, <laughs> they have nowhere to go. I'll fix it. It will take a minute to even out, but uh, but yeah, pretty um, pretty good, really. The one one good thing, actually, one thing we didn't mention is they did do a very good job with uh, making sure that the bots don't have charging issues. That's why there's so many ports here, is because they're needed to make sure the bots don't have uh, issues with charging. But on the flip side, uh, these ports are taking up quite a bit of room that could have otherwise been used for beacons or making the design smaller. And I don't know if we'll be able to catch this actually shutting down because it's going to take a while since these chests are going to hold up to 200 red circuits. Oh, yeah, that was a complaint, too. Why limit it with the circuit condition when he can manually limit it to a stack? Yeah, that is true. Definitely. So I think that's going to cover it. Uh, maybe we'll put in the comments or something um, what we found when we shut it down. But... Uh, we may actually use this in a future type of video for some uh, testing with large bot ne networks for smaller bot networks. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. You have anything else to add? No, that's about it. All right. Anyway, thanks for the submission, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts down below. Any more submissions, feel free to send them in, and we will catch you later. Later.